great news for this area. It's going to be updated. This is the area I call my jungle. I have over here a garden bed that I made. I'm going to keep that. I have a crepe myrtle over here that's been there for years. I'm going to keep it. But all of this, this is a snowball viburnum I took out and it, believe it or not, it's still alive laying here out of the pots or out of the ground. This area is going to be changed drastically. I have a lot of perennials in here. It's going to be placed in a different fashion, somewhere either in pots or maybe in this bed, but I am getting a greenhouse. It's gonna go over here in this section. And I'm going to use this as a walkway to go into the greenhouse area and I'm just going to situate my plants in a way that makes this area look very very nice. I am very excited about this and so come with me as I show you what I'm going to do in this space. against this one and both of them look dead so I'm taking them both out this one for sure was dead this one had a little green still in it but it's okay they were in the center it's always good when you can free up the center There you have it, beautiful rose. removed the arbor it had a dead honeysuckle on it um, every year it's just a jungle to get back there to see what's living and what's dead my tiger eye sumac is still alive and well so I have to move that somewhere else let me show you what I removed so far the trellis is moved out of the way and that uh, honeysuckle is gone so I have the sumacs, the two here, one, two, to try to save and put somewhere else. Where? I'm not sure yet. But like I said, this is 
going to be the spot for the greenhouse and it looks like it's getting a lot of good sun so i'm happy about that i'm gonna have to move of course the box was i'm gonna remove everything and then um start plugging away with the other stuff <laughs> Okay, on day one, this is my stopping point. I removed all the perennials. I have them in designated, designated places right now until uh, I'm ready to put them where they need to go. I have the greenhouse plot leveled right in that area right here, this rectangle. Yeah, it has been a lot of work today, removing all of that and leveling and just getting it prepared. But I think I made some pretty good progress. This is an update of the area. The only thing different in that spot is I put that new lattice all the way across. I wanted it to be the same all the way across and um, I put my bench here those two pots that I got from Old Town Pottery and one has um, Creeping Jenny in it I have to get another size pot that can fit on top I don't want to put dirt in these pots because they are terracotta and I know in our winters they will crack so I just want something I can put inside and then take the pots inside over the winter and I align the box woods up against this beautiful pineapple that I found on marketplace for five dollars this is cement there was a little crack on it on the bottom and the lady said she'll give it to me for five I saw this pineapple statue on Monica Katie's greenhouse tour she gave. And I was like, oh my goodness, that thing is so beautiful. And I found it on Marketplace. I'm so excited about that. So I have some new plants that I put along in here. And then um, these plants I already had, I just put them in these pots. Thank you.